Hello guys, this is Rich Service TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following personal channel na punta rito at na-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out ang God bless to Nanay Amakolda, Juan Anthony Valmoria, Des Villa, Sweetie Ding Quadra, Connie Vlog, Mary Mascardo Vlogs, and Yangs TV. Shout out na rin sa hindi nakisabay na manood sa premiere pero nanood pa rin although late. God bless us all. TV Hello guys, kumusta po tayo? Sana all is well by God's will. No? Kasi control ni Lord yung buhay natin. Kaya, let's proceed to our devotional. I guess let's open our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 to 10. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in 1 Samuel verses 1 to 10. This is about the Lord calls Samuel. The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days, the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. One night, Eli, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God has not yet gone out, and Sam Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back. And he lay down. So he went and lay down. Again the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. My son, Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not yet know that the Lord no, the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord could called Samuel a third time, and Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in a place. The Lord called and sto stood there, calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Lord, I know, God, that you speak to us many times, but yet <clears throat> we are not that sensitive in listening to you till small voice. Or probably like Samuel, oh God, we have not heard of your voice. And thank you for the Eli of our life that when you're going to talk to us, we could just say, Lord, speak for your servant is hearing. Lord, may as we speak and share God's word, and as you say God's word, to us, O Lord. May we also listen as you speak. Teach us to listen intently, O God, that we may also grow spiritually unto you, like what happened to Samuel. Thank you for this opportunity of having a devotional together with the bloggers, with the viewers, nandito ngayon, O God. Even to those who are uh, late, Lord, hindi lang sana, andalain ko hindi lang sana manood, but instead, makinig talaga kung ano ang words na gusto mong iparating sa amin. Bless us all of that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10. And it says, The Lord came and stood there, calling us at the other time. Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is 
servant hears. Had a wireless radio been on, they would have known the Titanic was sinking. Cyril Evans, the radio operator of another ship, had tried to relay a message to Jack Phillips, the radio operator on the Titanic, letting him know they had encountered an ice field, but Phillips was busy relaying passengers' messages and Roddy. Rodley told Evans to be quiet, so Evans reluctantly turned off his radio and went to bed. Ten minutes later, the Titanic struck an iceberg. Their distress signals went unanswered because no one was listening. In 1 Samuel, we read that the priests of Israel were corrupt and had lost their spiritual sight and hearing on the nations drifted into danger. The word of the Lord was rare. There were no there were not many visions, yet God wouldn't give up on his people. He began to speak to a young boy named Samuel, who was being raised in the priest household. Samuel's name means the Lord hears, a memorial to God's answering his mother's prayer, but Samuel would need to learn how to hear God. Speak, for your servant is listening, is the servant who hears. May we also choose to listen to and obey what God has revealed in the scripture. Let's submit ourselves to him and take the posture of humble servants, those who have the riches turned on. Guys, we're not using radio, but we are using this uh, element now, YouTube. No? Kaya, uh, this is what God had convicted me, as I many times say, no? to have the devotional, to say God's word, in order for us to listen to God's word. May we also hear like what Samuel is doing. In his little age, Eli taught him to listen, and that Samuel become a sensitive listener to God's word. And praise God, Samuel really grow up with a, a God-fearing spirit. May you also be the same. No? Na dito sa devotional, may focus tayo na makikinig. Huwag lang yung basta-basta lang mag, uh, ako, ano, ano yung mga chinachat. No? Uh, let's also give due respect to the word of God, we will also grow. Kasi nga, uh, God is using this element to hear God's word. Na makikinig tayo sa word ni Lord. I know it's not me who's talking. God is just using me as a mouthpiece to share God's word. I guess it's not proceeding to the question. Why is it vital for you to obey? what God has revealed in Scripture. Kasi guys, if we're not going to obey what is written in the Scripture, nasasayang yung word, at parang, uh, hindi na maniwala si Lord sa atin. Kasi nga, nagbasa tayo, pero hindi natin pinapaniwalaan yung word niya. Hindi natin na uh, ino-obey kung ano yung sinasabi niya. Kaya, we need to trust and obey kung ano yung word ni Lord. Second question, how can you stay tuned? to his voice. Kailangan guys, let's be sensitive in hearing God's voice. Because we know, and I really know, God is really talking unto us. Only lang is, yung, yung mga voices ng sarili natin ang naririnig natin. What is in our mind is what we also hear. But if we're going to focus on God, I know. We can clearly hear God's word. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being a speaking God. Thank you for the scriptures that help us follow you in obedience. Speak, your servant is listening. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's be sensitive in hearing God's voice. Amen.
Guys, if you're new to this channel, I would like to ask you please hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell also you'll be notified that it's already 8 o'clock. It's time for our devotional because this series devotional is always at 8 o'clock every night. God bless us all guys because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This again with Service TV. Kita kita tayo magdatangan sa muli. Paalam!